Warmer weather is on the way and that means more juicing, all those beautiful fruits and vegetables. But what do you do with all that leftover pulp? Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where together we experiment with different foods, supplements, herbs to create vibrant health. Today, we're going to be making prebiotic cherry energy balls. To your food processor, add three quarter cup of either raw or roasted almonds. Next, add one half a cup of walnuts or pecans. Cross up until your nuts are ground into small pieces. Next, let's add one half a cup of shredded unsweetened coconut, which is high in fiber and great for your digestion. Next, let's add one half of a cup of leftover pulp from juicing. Now, if you're anything like me, I cringe when I think of throwing this away because it is one of the best foods to feed your good gut buddies. Um, I'm using a mixture of apple and carrot, but feel free to experiment with whatever you're juicing that day. And then also don't throw this away, keep it in the refrigerator. Any leftover pulp you can add to sauces, dressings, salads, smoothies. It's such a great prebiotic boost. Six large pitted dates for some added sweetness. One cup of dried cherries that are rich in antioxidants and can also help reduce inflammation in the body. Two tablespoons of coconut oil that nourishes your gut lining. And to it, I'm going to add one to two drops of our orange essential oil. This is optional, but it's going to give a little extra boost of vitamin C and flavor. I'm just going to add it to the oil first, stir it around, and then add it to our processor. Swirl it around just a little bit, and then add it in. One teaspoon of vanilla extract for a little bit of flavor. This is optional. One eighth to one quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. And the salt can vary not only by your taste, but then also if you used nuts that were salted. I also added a little pinch of cayenne pepper because I couldn't resist. I love a little bit of spice. Last, I'm going to add two tablespoons of raw honey for a little bit of sweetness. Now, you may want to process up your ingredients first before adding the honey, just depending on your desired taste. Pulse a few times and then let your processor run until your ingredients are combined and start to stick together. Form your mixture into balls you can roll them into shredded coconut, chopped nuts, cacao powder, or just leave them as is. Okay, we're ready to give these prebiotic cherry balls a try. These are fantastic. They are so nutrient dense, so you don't need a lot of them to feel full and they're so good for your digestion. I think they have the perfect amount of sweetness, but it's really up to you to taste them and experiment with them and have fun in the kitchen. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you and I love hearing from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you next week in the kitchen.